What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm John the Potter, great to have you in the studio. Today we're gonna just kind of do a random casual video where I am throwing some giant beer steins for a local brewery. So when this is all said and done, it'll have a logo on it that says uh, Waconia Brewing Company, Oktoberfest, and it'll hold, should hold a liter, which is 33 ounces. So yes, that is a giant mug. But I gotta throw 10 more of those. We're currently finishing up an order for 350 custom mugs that look like this. And when I say finishing up, uh, I mean we've gotten 40 done out of 350, so we have a long ways to go. So that's been keeping us busy. So I had a lot to talk about with you guys. Kind of been slacking on the videos recently, so I thought I would just have a little work day, have a little talk day. You guys can watch me throw for a little bit. I hope that's all right. So each of these beer stein mugs are starting with two pounds each. So for me, when I throw, typically the weight in ounces ends up being about how much volume it holds. So for example, a 16 ounce weight is one pound. So if I start with one pound, then it's gonna hold about 16 ounces. If I throw it pretty normal. So for these, I'm starting with two pounds, technically 32 ounces, but I tested one and it was 33 ounces, which 33 ounces equals one liter, which that is a heck of a lot of beer, if you ask me, to drink at one time. I guess the Germans from Oktoberfest, they like their beer. But we just finished up our epic pottery event, the second annual, and it was so fun. It was so awesome. Thank you guys. If you came out to the epic pottery event, I really, really appreciate it. It was so fun. Gave me a little more motivation and inspiration to get some YouTube videos because I met so many people that were like, oh man, you, you've you really taught me so much in your YouTube videos. And it's just like, you know, when you put a YouTube video up and some people watch it, it's kind of just like, yeah, it's cool. But when you actually meet the people that are inspired or affected by the video, then it's really cool. So we just finished that up, the Epic Pottery event. I think at the end we sold about, probably around 500 pieces. So it was even better than last year. It was really fun. Um, I think we're gonna make it an annual event. This year we had a food truck. So Sweet Winks had some barbecue and um, burgers and that was really good. What else? Oh, our online sale from the event. So you can see all the pots there is basically what we had left over. So we, had, we started with about 750, around 800 pieces for the sale. Uh, and that's what we have left. So that is gonna be in our next online sale on September 4th. That's kind of my rhythm that I've gotten into is the first Sunday of the month, I try and do a restock. So whatever pots I have, it'll be a little smaller one this September. But if you guys wanna check out any pots that I had for from the event, September 4th. Otherwise, the summer has been just flying by. I can't believe it. My oldest son, Ryder, is starting kindergarten next week. It's crazy. A couple other things that's happening. I think the title of this video is probably gonna be how to grow on social media because I've had a, a video that I put up on Instagram, on Instagram Reels. If I look at it right now, it currently has, if you look at that video right there, currently has 36 million views. And my followers on Instagram have gone from like 56,000 to over 100,000 in like, I don't know, two weeks? So basically it took me like five years to get from zero followers to 56,000. And now I've gone from 56,000 to like 106,000 in like two or three weeks. Not that I'm qualified to inform you how to grow on social media, but I have done, you know, there's been a few times when I've really had certain videos go viral. Like a couple YouTube videos have gone really viral. I had some TikTok videos go viral. Um, so it's just been a fun thing to watch that, uh, that video go from, you know, it took me like two or three minutes to make that video and now it has 36 million views. It's craziness. The lesson is you never know what's going to take off because you know, I've spent tons of time on videos and nothing really happens. And then I spend like not that much time and it goes crazy. And then I get tons of new followers and stuff. So it's fun. If you want to go check it out, go check out the Instagram. 
All right, we got our balls. Balls of clay ready. We're gonna hop over the wheel. Start throwing. Ready? There we go. A little bit more about the event. A couple things we did for the event. The first 10 sales on Saturday and the first 10 sales on Sunday, we gave a free mug. So that was pretty fun. So right away there was like lots of people there. Uh, people were lining up to get uh, their sale in quick so they could get the free mug. And then what we did for the event was we did two Raku firings on Saturday and then one on Sunday. And whenever we would unload those, we had quite a few people watching, which was really fun. And then I did wheel demonstrations too, where I would throw a bunch of pots. I asked if what people wanted to see on Saturday and someone asked for me to throw blindfolded. So that was fun, threw blindfolded and turned out pretty well. But yeah, I'm planning on doing the event every year. So if you uh, make plans in August to come out to Minnesota, it's a beautiful time. A lot of the people uh, that came last year, a couple people from Ohio, uh, a lady, she has been following me for a while and she had never flown before in her life. In her first ever flight, she took from Sacramento, California to Minnesota for the event, which was so fun. So shout out for making it all the way to Minnesota. I really appreciate you coming. What else has been going on? I'm planning on doing a series of new videos this fall. I've thought about doing this for a long time. Every year at the beginning of the school year, I always think like, I should do some like pottery tutorial, like pottery 101, geared towards the people that take a pottery class and then they come home and they think like, I wanna learn more about pottery, so I'm gonna search it. I always thought that would be a really good idea. So I wanna try and do that this year, come out with like a series of pottery 101, like what you need to know when you first take a pottery class, that type of stuff. So for the last few summers, I've had an intern, an employee, Kai is his name, and he's a ceramics major. He's a very good potter on his own. You can follow him at, at Kai Brisk. But this summer, he did a residency in Greece where he went and took did a pottery residency there, which was really cool. But uh, we, I just counted up how many pots we made while he was here, and it was 1,388 pots. So that's been a good summer so far. And now we got quite a few things to make, or I guess I have by myself have quite a few things to make for the rest of the year. All right, that's about good for that. Oh, where's that? So then in the bottom of this, I always put this nice big foot. Kind of mimics the top part. And then we get that logo right in the middle there. I'll show you a few photos of that how that'll look when it's done. Boom, there's one. All right, so we got about 10 more to do. All right, what else has been going on in the world of pottery, JTP? I would love if you have any video ideas. Share them in the comments below. The wheel is really loud, so it might be really obnoxious for me to be trying to talk over it. I don't know, is it obnoxious? I'll find out when I go to edit it. I'm also hoping to do a series of videos this fall about other potters. Specifically, if you haven't heard of Joel Cherico and Cherico Pottery, I'm hoping to go visit his studio, sit down with him for a really long time and do some interviews with him, do some videos about his work. He had a couple employees that came to this event and they gave me a special gift, which I'm very excited about. But I'm hoping I can head up there and do a video with him this fall. All right, so for these beer steins, I really like to get it as tall as I can go right away, get that clay up, and then focus on getting that a little bit of width. 
And that helps us get all that volume in there too. Since we need these to be a liter, which is giant. All right, there we go, there's number two. Okay, so today is the next day after that day that I was talking, and uh, we have our first load of these beer steins done. So I thought I would unload them. We're at 155, whoopsies, so still a little hot, but whoo, they turned out so good. So here's the first ones, Waconi Brewing Company, Oktoberfest, oh, isn't that glaze sweet? Lava Rock, Aurora Green, I love that glaze. So. Beautiful. Now I gotta test to make sure that they are 33 ounces, but I love it. Yes, sweet, sweet. Super happy with how they turned out the first batch. So that's the first 10. We gotta do 75 more, some of which you guys saw me throw yesterday. I uh, got a few more over here. Um, and I'll show you. So basically these are the ones that haven't been fired yet. Then we got these in here, which have to get glazed. And then we got these over here that are finished. Love it. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. I already can't wait till I film my next video. So I will see you guys in the next video. Ready? Hot, hot, hot.